The family of a Loxahatchee man shot and killed by a Palm Beach County deputy two months ago is talking for the first time about what happened. In an exclusive interview, the parents of Ricky Whitten say they want answers. After video surfaced of the shooting they believe shows their son was running away from deputies when he was shot. It's been nightmares. I don't even sleep at night. For Owen Whitten, emotions are still raw. It's just hard to watch a kid killed in front of you for no reason. I didn't see no reason. They didn't talk to him. They didn't try to talk him down. It was the early morning hours of December 31st, 2016. Owen and Diane Whitten called 911 for help after they say their son, 46-year-old Ricky Whitten, woke them up to say he felt suicidal. I said, he's got a knife, you know, and... Uh, they said, does he have a mental problem? I said, yes, he has a mental problem. Is he on any medicine? I said, no. I said, but he was on 45th Street about two years ago. So they knew he had a mental problem. Diane Whitten says she told dispatch her son was not threatening them. He never once threatened us. He never once threatened the officers whatsoever. Then I told the, the 911 operator, I said, he's got a knife in his back. I said, but he's standing with his, his arms, you know, raised. We can't confirm exactly what was said on that 911 call because the call has not been released. It is part of the investigation into what happened that night. WPBF 25 News has obtained surveillance video from the night of the shooting. There are two videos that captured what happened, a patio view and a carport driveway view, both taken from a neighbor's security cameras. The video shows Ricky Whitten walking through his parents' front yard at 1.55 in the morning on December 31st. Around the same time, patrol cars come into view. Seconds later, Whitten steps over a hedge into the neighbor's yard as deputies shine their lights and begin to approach him. Whitten appears to walk backwards and falls down behind some trees. Deputies rush in. Whitten then gets up and runs between the trees, falling a second time. He gets up again and appears to run away from deputies, but falls a third time and gets up. Then, gunfire. A deputy shoots and Whitten goes down a fourth and final time. He was coming backwards across here, and I guess he must have ran right into those officers there, and they just, pow, 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 pow. And he just fell to the ground right there. It was not right. The Palm Beach County Sheriff's Office released this statement to WPBF 25 News regarding the two videos, saying it clearly shows Whitten refused deputy commands. Deputies used a non-lethal weapon twice in an attempt to take him into custody safely. However, both times he was able to get back up and run away before deputies could gain control of him. The video certainly speaks volumes for the lack of attempting to try to negotiate or to try to engage him. It's an all-out assault. You see the police arrive on scene and just basically converge with their guns, the dog, the flashlights. According to the sheriff's office, they claim the videos show Whitten running towards the canine deputy with knife in hand. The canine deputy, in fear for his life and the life of his canine partner, discharged his firearm, striking Whitten in the torso area. But attorney Stuart Kaplan believes the videos show Whitten was shot in the back, not the torso. Notwithstanding that he's running away from them, what justification could there possibly be to now say we are going to shoot this person and not only shoot this person, but as he's running away from us, we're going to shoot him in the back. Kaplan says the family wants justice and accountability. There is absolutely no effort whatsoever to try to de-escalate a serious situation where someone has threatened to commit suicide. Whitten's girlfriend, Dana Clawson, is the mother of his three young children. I still don't believe it. I still feel like he's going to walk in the door. My children still talk like, like he's still here. Clawson says Ricky was diagnosed with paranoid schizophrenia in 2014. The family believes authorities should have handled things differently. I don't want anything like this to ever happen again. They need to change the way that they, they deal with the mentally ill. 
you know, they need to have someone come out and talk to them, just not come onto your property with your guns drawn. That, that just makes them more scared. The Witten family now left with so many questions and three children left to grow up without a father. I told them that morning that, that daddy went to heaven and how much he loves them and that he's always with us. The deputy involved in the shooting is Justin Rigney. He is a 10 year veteran assigned to the K-9 unit. We looked into his personnel file and found more than 65 use of force incidents over the course of his 10 years with the sheriff's office. Now in all those incidents, his supervisors ruled the use of force justified. Deputy Rigney is back on full duty. The Florida Department of Law Enforcement is investigating and the Palm Beach County State Attorney's Office confirms for us the case is under review.